There you go. So I just, uh, to finalize, I just wanted to make sure you've had these links. Uh, I'll put these again in the chat. The, obviously, the Unreal Engine documentation, plenty in virtual reality here. I wanted to reiterate again the Tom Lumen has got some great uh, VR guides and how to getting started as well. So uh, all the steps to uh, get going in VR. And then Marco Romero on um, Facebook let me know about his great page. Plenty, plenty of very detailed information here about VR. So virtual reality zeef. Marco Romero. I've got the um, links in the chat. And then if you wanted to dig a little bit deeper uh, and see how I did this projectile. This is the tutorial that I followed very good uh, on the blueprint page for Unreal. Okay, and finally I wanted to talk uh, briefly about my lighting course for those of you who wanted to dig a little bit deeper into uh, the lighting and where here I just really go uh, very deep step by step into how creating this how to set up this uh, um, scene and here looking at the UVs and um, how to work with that and then we go through th three different very very simple methods but that enable you to have different um, results here it's fully baked or we've got animations there's the real-time GI and then we go a little bit deeper into all the different light um, light sources and for each thing there's uh, a matching sort of case study so for example for the interior we've got the interior lighting where we kind of look at each um, light in the space and then more kind of um, a bigger space more complicated with these sort of materials and and here even the lobby is sort of very large and then I go very uh, detailed into all the um, uh, particular problems that we encounter working on very large and also I want to really point out this little uh, lecture well not lecture presentation I do on Richard Kelly who's a lighting designer he's fantastic and I really recommend looking him up uh, three elements of light um, is um, so I'd give a little presentation about that and then how to set up a swarm for uh, network rendering. So this is very, uh, <laughs> very useful if you've got a render farm. So there you go. Um, any uh, questions? We're going to go to Q&A. And uh, so I look forward to talking to you live on air. Oh, yeah, and before I forget, here's the URL. So 3dw.co.uk slash unreal. So normally... 3dw.co.uk okay, slash unreal and that should take you to, yeah just to the page where I talk a lot about more and describe some more and so on any questions let me know